Hey guys, we've been getting a lot of questions about the hardware inside of CD, so this video is going to take you through what we've got going on inside the box. Let's get started. Um, we've got a list here of everything we want to cover. The box is built around two main components, a slim DVD drive and a processor board. And a lot of work went into selecting these components. Yep. Um, when we started doing development work, we were using really high-end components just to prove out all the concepts about CD and make sure uh, all the ideas were basically going to come together with the software. Um, so for example, we were uh, doing a lot of development using a, a board called the Odroid uh, XU4, which is a fantastic board. And we were using, for example, desktop uh, optical drives, so like the big clunker drives. Um, that I, we have happened to have on hand, and before we really th thought about how we were going to put everything into a self-contained um, small unit. Um, once we had everything working, we started looking at the cost of actually producing a product like this as a whole. Um, and we looked into many different options for the board, uh, including all the different models of Odroid, um, Raspberry Pi, Orange Pi, <coughs> uh, mini PC boards with, uh, mm -hmm. with uh, x86 processors, and even spinning our own custom board. Um, we ran a lot of benchmarks on each on each board to confirm the feasibility for getting the job done. And it um, didn't take long before we found that we had a winner on our hands for performance, affordability, and quality. And we are proud to be including the board, which is the Orange Pi Lite, inside of CD. The next component was the optical drive, and we had a lot of different cr criteria that had to be met for this one. First of all, power efficiency. Um, we obviously only wanted to ship the unit with one power adapter that you plug into the back of CD, so the DVD drive is being run directly off of the Orange Pi board. Um, the next item was performance for streaming data real time. So um, CD works on the fly. No need to wait for the CD to fully rip before you can start gameplay. It runs on the fly. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, and you all, again, you will have the ability to do a rip like that, um, but the great, the beauty of CD is just putting the game in and playing. So uh, another, another particular uh, property of the optical drive that we're using is that um, many drives are going to get hung up when they hit a sector on a, so DVDs or uh, sorry CDs are uh, the data is comprised of sectors. Um, there's a lot of sectors on a uh, on a, D a CD, and each one has a couple uh, thousand bytes. But um, basically, if a drive has a sector that <laughs> is dirty or scratched or something, a lot of a lot of <coughs> a lot of fir drive firmware um, will basically hit that and like struggle on it and time out and then try again and time out and so um, the encoding used on a lot of these games was such that for non-critical data the real consoles would just skip past it and almost and use kind of like zeroed out data um, so for example on uh, like a movie like on a movie uh, clip inside of a PS1 game um, if there was a tiny speck of dust on it, it's not going to cause the game to not play or the system to crash. It's just going to, you might have a little bit more of a lossy video that you see. Um, so suffice to say that the driver using in CD um, will be okay uh, with disks that have scratches and stuff. I mean, it'll, it won't be able to read data that's destroyed, but it won't, it won't, dis it won't make the whole game not play. Um, the other thing about the drive that we, that we decided to go with was uh, tray loading drive. Um, and there's many reasons for doing this. Basically, uh, we have found that the main reason is reliability. A tray drive um, has a lot less internal small moving parts and mechanisms for getting the game, getting the, the uh, disc loaded up, um, which obviously makes it more um, robust. Um, have you struggled with this personally? I've had it's multiple MacBooks drives that make a sound like this. And then it'll like spit the disc out at you, like literally. This happened to me, so we're not going to deal with that. Um, uh, overall, we found that tray uh, works very well, um, and, and it's lower cost. It, yeah, it's lower cost to you, um, and um, 
And as w the other thing about uh, Tray is that because you clip the game in, it's more secure within the drive. So if you could basically turn, I know like a lot of people struggled with this with original uh, Xbox 360, because it could go vertical or horizontal, people would like, with the first gen systems at least, you would, it would the game would be in play and you'd rotate it and you could hear the just, and your game was, was going to be messed up. So um, we don't have that problem. Lock it in. And it's just more retro. Yeah. For sure. Um, oh, and by the way, it's also a DVD burner and CD burner. So that's good if you want to replace your hardware with fresh discs. Um, I know over time, the CD games tend to get disc rot and they degrade. So keep them alive. Uh, the next thing mm -hmm. was um, adapters. We've got a few different types of adapters coming with CD. Um, the first one is the power adapter. It's a basic um AC to DC converter works at 120 volt to 240. Um, so basically anywhere in the world, it can handle the power. Um, international customers will have to get a simple wall plug adapter. Um, but the good thing but, is that it provides enough juice for the entire system. Exactly. And we've tested it out a lot. Also inside the box is an adapter to connect the drive to the board. Um, and not any adapter will just work with this. We've gone through multiple revs and um, or multiple different products to get one that works really well. And we've tested a lot and it, it gets the job done. Um, another, another component inside the CD is a Bluetooth adapter. Now this one's very important, right? You, can, you want to elaborate on that? Yeah, in, in testing, we were sometimes encountering <laughs> input lag. So in particular, Super Mario Brothers. Um, we both remembered being a lot better at the game than we were when we were playing on CD. And um, we realized that it was a very, very small but very annoying lag. Um, like For instance, you'd jump over a gap in the game, and you'd be just a little bit too late, and you would die. Um, so we tried different controllers. Um, but it ended up being the Bluetooth dongle. Um, so we tested a variety of those and found one that um, does not have that latency issue. So there's seamless seamless um, response. Yep, and we've gotten feedback from other people as well um, about the, the quality and the, and the, and the lack of, of input lag. Yeah. Um, yeah, specifically, Sega Lord X did a nice... Um, user test on our unit um, and you can also check out our Facebook live videos where we do live testing yep um, and just another thing to mention also inside not inside CD but inside the box that you will receive is a um, USB adapter so you can plug in a full-size USB directly to CD um, so if you have a wired controller or um, a USB hub, or a PSX adapter, or the retro, or um, a keyboard, or whatever. Um, we're going to include a um, an adapter that's about that long. It's like a little dongle, so you plug that into CD, and then you can plug your USB devices into there. Um, and obviously, another component that we've tested and is good quality. Um, next is the controller. Now, this is obviously a critical part of the gaming system and the gaming experience. And we are using a third-party generic version based off of the um, DualShock 3 controller. And um, understandably, a lot of people have been skeptical about this choice, um, likely due to the fact that there are um, very mixed levels of quality of these types of controllers on the market. So we, um, we've sampled a wide swath of um, these third-party controllers that are available and um, we've found one that is consistently good no sticky buttons no um, discontinuity in resistance in the an analog joysticks um, they seem well constructed um, so we have confidence in the particular supplier and design of this third-party controller that will ship with CD and again if you are very particular about your controller you can always buy CD on its own and BYOC. Yep. Um, and then what we also really want to talk about, um, and is a very important part of CD, is the enclosure itself, which Chris designed himself. Well, it was a collaboration. We did, well, right? the, the, yeah, you designed the, the details and the specifics 
Um, we iterated a lot, a, a real lot, on the overall design. But, um, you know, Chris is the owner of, of that. Um, yeah, so we were going for a compact, attractive um, look that um, had sort of elements of a retro system. So I think where we ended up kind of encompasses all of those things. Um, you have the ability to lay it horizontally on your shelf or use the included stand to kick it up vertically. Um, so that's nice. The, in, the enclosure um, very securely um, fastens the orange pie light board. Um, we include a finned aluminum heat sink onto the processor to keep things nice and cool. And um, through many hours of testing, we haven't had any issues with performance. Um, related to heat. Related especially. to heat. Um, we are very careful with how we locate the antennae. So the Wi-Fi antenna has locating fins that keep it away from conductive objects to, to make sure you guys get nice, reliable Wi-Fi connectivity. And likewise, with the Bluetooth dongle, we will include similar locating fins to keep that consistently, accurately located. And it has a button. I feel this is very important. Any respectable gaming console should have a button. We don't know what we're going to make it do yet, but it's well, there. I think I think it's going <laughs> to make it sleep and make it wake up. That's the that's the idea. But it'll be we have some flexibility will with that. Will that be customizable? I will. I cannot say. Okay. Um, Default behavior will likely be to go to sleep and to wake up. And then we also offer a transparent green, jungle green, um, extremely retro console stand controller combo pack. Limited. Limited edition, edition only. Um, I think we're limiting it to 100. Yeah. Well, we've got 100 for the one controller and 100 for the two All controller. All right. So 200. Which is more get, it than while, get it while it lasts. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to be around for long. <laughs> um, yeah. the, other, the other important thing about the enclosure is um, the... Uh, so we mentioned there's a heat sink, but there's also ample ventilation um, in the enclosure for uh, natural convection. Convection. Yeah. Um, so it should things should be good. And again, we've tested out for uh, hundreds of hours with different different uh, setups. So uh, that concludes all the points we want to go over for for now. Um, please let us know if you have any concerns about this. You can respond uh, any through any channel to us. You can respond in the comments of this video. You can um, hit us up via email or on Facebook or uh, Twitter or um, however else you, you'd like. Um, and we're, again, we're sharing this to you because we want to be fully transparent about what's in the box and just make sure we're answering any questions that you guys might or have brought up. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for our next video where we're going to talk about the software used in CD. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Take care.